According to a recent United Nations report released by FAO, food demand to support the global population will increase by 50% in 2050 compared to 2012. We will need 165 to 600 million more hectares of land for crop and livestock production, a lot of which is currently covered by forests and sensitive ecosystems. Apart from yield increase, restoration of degraded land, forest protection and improved governance is needed to ensure an increase in food security and preserve forest cover. Grazing can play a vital role in restoring degraded land with trees, halting desertification and improving wildfire prevention in dry lands. The report highlights the importance of silvopastoralism or agroforestry arrangements that purposely combine fodder plants such as grasses and leguminous herbs with shrubs and trees for animal nutrition and complementary uses. Woody plants in dry lands provide animal feed, timber, fruit and help to increase biodiversity, regulate soil and water cycles. At the same time, grazing livestock helps control vegetation, accelerate nutrient cycles and improve soil fertility. From 2000 to 2018, almost 90% of deforestation globally was due to agricultural expansion, putting surrounding biodiversity at risk. This makes the role of government policies for farmers essential. Governments need to exclude deforestation from agricultural commodities that are associated with forest degradation like beef, soy, palm oil, coffee, cocoa, rubber, etc. Special attention needs to be paid to smallholder farmers who produce roughly 35% of the world's food but live in poverty and cannot afford additional costs or interruptions to their income. The world has lost 420 million hectares of forests in the last two decades, standing at 8.8 .8 million hectares per year from 2010 to 2018. We must build sustainable global agri-food systems based on the synergies between agriculture and forests that provide a win-win outcome for both sectors.